Hey everyone, Karan here, welcoming you back to Skies of Arcadia Legends. In the last episode, we looked at our headquarters and we got to check it all out as it was built and constructed and everything was all spiffy and shiny and new and all that good stuff. And we ended up getting a moonfish and a couple of charms out of it actually. Got some new stores and all sorts of stuff, so it was a pretty interesting little trip around, I guess, our new base. Then, we ended up heading over to Ixaness and taking out the Ixaness demons. Now, I'm going to take on Piastol, but I'm going to wait for her ship to cycle back around here, and I want to show y'all something real quick. Uh, I haven't had the chance to look at the comments on the last video yet, and but I know that one of them did at least mention this. I hadn't had the chance to look at the comment proper, though, so I haven't seen what you had to say just yet. But I noticed, if we are to look under my name... I am Vice the Fallen Pirate somehow because I figure I've made some pretty darn good choices. And lo and behold, when I was dropping off discovery information over in Nosrod, looky what I saw on the wanted list. Yeah, apparently I'm on the wanted list somehow. Reported to be robbing the people of Nosrod, which I would take to mean that there is probably a ship around Nosrod that has a guy impersonating my ass. And pardon my French, but I don't like people impersonating me. Yeah, I think once we get Piastol dealt with, assuming we do get Piastol dealt with, we're dealing with him next. Because nobody's going to impersonate my good name, dang it. Uh, let's see. In the meantime, though, uh, we have Piastol herself, if she will oblige me by coming a little bit closer here. Uh, she was close, and then I was getting ready to start the episode and she flew away, so... Okay, here, I think she's turning back. I don't really want to go too far forward trying to chase after her because I took off the white map, and I'd rather not start this episode by going, Hi, we're gonna go chat with Piastol! Oh, random encounter. And since I haven't had the... I haven't had a random encounter in a fair bit, so I want to not risk it. But yeah, we're going to take on Piastol this time, methinks, because I want to see if we can deal with her a second time. You guys mentioned that I think there was a couple of other battles with her, aside from the one that we had already. So I figure, well, we might as well go ahead and see about dealing with her. Are you going to turn around this way now? It'd be great if you... Oh, you are. Okay. Never mind. Hi. Yeah. Wow, we're going to plow right into each other at this rate. Jeez. Even though I'm not even going anywhere. I'm just standing here and watching you port your lovely Piastoli self up to me. So... Howdy! I've been waiting for you, Vice. I assume that you remember me? Yeah, you're, you're kind of tough to forget there, Piastol. I am Piastol. I am the hunter of air pirates. I am the Angel of Death. I have come to deliver death unto you. This very place shall become your grave. You call us out here and then you start spouting all this nonsense? You have problems, lady. And so we beat you once. Who cares? Just give it a rest already, will ya? Why are you being so persistent? You speak as if my search for you has been a recent phenomenon, O oh red-headed one. These past seven years, I have been searching the world for you, looking for any trace of your passing I could find, Vice. Huh? What are you talking about? I have no other words for you. Today I will have my revenge. On guard, Vice! On guard! Or she could just say it. Alrighty then, round two against Piastol, yay! This time we've gotten Enrique on our side though, which should hopefully help. And you've got your guard dog again, so hey, I'm not surprised there either. Alright, so turn one obviously, as it is with such things, turn one is going to be El Bufferini, so alright. And I'm going to be sticking with Delta Shield primarily with her. Uh, let's see, how about, madam, you do the Glyph of Speed and Enrique... Let's have you go ahead and do Justice Shield. I want to keep that going throughout this battle. Just to make sure that if we do happen to take physical damage, and we likely will, in fact, we're certain we will, that we have that mitigated, essentially. And then, of course, Justice Shield, because she's a 
well, she likes to spam death, and Let's no thank you. I want no part of that. Alright, so, what are you gonna try to do to us this time, madam? You got new moves for us? Your doggy got new moves for us? Pretty much as before, I'm gonna go for the dog first. Alright, so, let's see. Let's go ahead and... Okay, so the dog is green, so I need to be doing red or -roni. Oh, as I skip right past it, good job, me. Alright, so, let's go ahead and red you up here. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about that with you. Let's see. Uh, hmm. Interesting. This is gonna leave me with essentially one physical attacker, at least of any real import. Because I'm going to be having just a shield going, and then we'll see how things go from there. Honestly, also, what I think I'm going to do is... Let's see. Do I want to do regen, or do I want to build up the strength? I think I want to build up for vices for the pirate's wrath. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do, then, with her? Hmm. Let's see. Well, actually, I could do Silenus and see if that works. Because if that does work, then no death spamming for her. Although, given that she is effectively, I guess, a mini-boss type figure, I don't know if that's going to work on her. Also, hi, super move! Okay, well, yep, yeah, glad I had ju just a shield in place, otherwise, holy crap. Let's try this! And it broke the box. Good job. One try and the box goes boom. And yeah, of course it missed. Oh well, it was worth a shot anyway. Oh my gosh, wait. A regular attack just did 1500 damage? Holy crap. Also, haha. Alright, so in that case then, I have a feeling Pirate's Wrath may end up taking old Doggy here out just in one fell swoop, possibly. Also problems. Um, let's not do that, actually. Let's stick with regular one more turn. I didn't realize the SP was going to be that much of an issue. And then, alright, obviously your job is going to be to heal, madame, because suddenly Ika kind of needs it. Just like with the last battle with Piastol, I figure a measured defensive approach is the best one. Even if it does mean I have to hold back my attacks a little bit, I far prefer being defensive and alive than trying to be offensive and dead. <laughs> I mean, because there's no real point to it otherwise. Also, I think I'm actually going to hold off on using Justice or on um, Pirate's Wrath. Oh, you're going to heal her? Hey, works for me. She's only gotten a little bit of damage. I don't really care for that. But I think I'm going to hold off on using Pirate's Wrath actually until Pia stole herself. Because it looks, honestly, like we can take the Death Hound down in one good set of turns, really. Not that I'm going to try to do anything stupid, but... Let's see, let's go ahead, actually, and switch you to red. Have you attack a little bit. Not going to do a whole lot of good, but still it'll help. And I think if we can get the dog taken down in a couple of turns, then I will just go ahead and let loose the... Well, basically, the Wrath of Hell on Piastol. I gotta say, though, I can definitely tell how Justice Shield makes this a lot easier. Metric tons easier, in fact. Okay, so you're going to do regular attack. I'm fine with that, because it means you're not healing yourself. But it does mean you're turning on the tears for Enrique. Well, meh. Alright, so I'm actually going to go ahead and Pirate's Wrath her, because I think one attack, honestly, from, <laughs> crazily enough, from Fina, is going to end this for the doggy. So, Delta Shield for you, attack with good old Cupel for you, and just a shield for you. Okay, well, she looks like she's got about 10 grand in terms of HP, and if this hits Fina, she's dead. It hits Ika though, so good. Well, that means next turn I'm gonna have to have Fina doing a Sacrum Crystal for everybody. Okay, yep, 
Bye, doggy. Nice knowing you. Again. All right, so let's just go ahead and stick to the plan, pretty much. Okay, PSL's blue, so red's not going to work, which means I need to switch over to... Hmm, let's do some purple, I guess. Just trying to decide between purple and green, mostly. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and keep up the regular platform with you guys. You need to do Sacroom, por favor. And then, obviously, Justice Shield. Because I don't want my guys dying. That would be bad. That would be heckin' terrible. I was trying to say horrible and terrible in the same word there, and it just became weird, so, sorry. <laughs> And you try to cast your death spells on me, and I say screw you too. <laughs> Although ironically, that's the first time she'd actually tried that. Go figure. All right, so we're building up SP, obviously, and I want to try to finish her off with another justice or another justice strike. I don't know why I'm calling it that. Another pirate's wrath. But I do also want to keep up the pattern that I have been because, again. Even though we've got happy time music on, I'm not going to sit here and celebrate yet because we're not done. And I don't want to get into... I don't want to get into any sort of hubris that could easily beat the crap out of me in the end. And you're going to hit Vice with that, which actually I'm fine with because... He's going to get healed in a second anyway with the Sacrum Crystal, so... Yep, like so... One thing I will say also to Wit on this is, also great job Vice, I can definitely see where, I can definitely see where the Captain's Hat is very much coming in handy, because the fact that Vice was able to do 1500 damage to the dog just in a regular attack is pretty crazy ultimately. Okay, let's see, I actually, I think I'm going to take a calculated risk. And because I don't think a Tempest Dance will kill any of my characters straight off, I'm going to go ahead and focus with Fina. And let's see, what do I have in terms of spirit? I, no, I don't want to use one of those. I don't need to, really. I don't think I have anything else particularly that will increase. No? Okay. Oh, well, it's worth a shot. Uh, so actually, I'll have... I can only hit... Why can't you focus? That's weird. Is it because of the status effect that you can't focus? I mean, in that case, okay, let's fix that. Okay, so you're casting magic, which means... This should work. That's a little weird, though. One thing, I will admit that I'm, I'm still not particularly cognizant of the status effects, or the... I mean, obviously, the offense down, defense down, stuff like that, that's pretty obvious to try to figure out. But I'm still not particularly cognizant as to what some of the other status effects do. And this is what I was waiting for. Come on, chick, let's dance. All right, leaves enough for Delta Shield, so we should be good. And then, I guess we'll just attack. I mean, might as well go ahead and pile on the pressure here. And I blaze right past red, so, or not red, purple. There we go, good job, me. So yeah, let's just pile on the pressure, see if we can finish her off. I don't know that we'll be able to particularly, okay. but we can pile on the pressure nonetheless. Okay, yeah, that's an unmitigated Tempest Strike. I kind of figured she might end up doing that at some point. Okay, but this is going to end it for us, because we got two more attacks coming in. And that didn't quite do it. Interesting. Okay. Of course, it certainly... <laughs> wow, a crit from Fina wins the battle. Holy crap. Interesting. That was a close one. Just because of that last attack, silly. But anyway, we are triumphant and we get, well, a couple levels up for that. Yay. Then, let's see what our loot is. Our loot is nothing. Hmm. That's unfortunate. What? Well, why? Why is it that I finally fight the man I've been searching for all these years and yet I cannot win? Hey! Okay, seriously, what are you talking about? 
Yeah, what exactly were you talking about when you said that you've been chasing us for seven years? That's a really long time, you know. S Silence! You can never understand my pain. Well, yeah, because you're not telling us. Remember this, Vice. I swear that someday I will defeat you. Don't think you can escape your fate. I shall never forgive you. Uh, again, for what? Yeah, you're, you're a little spare on the details there, madame. Okay, well, we, we made it. Yay. <laughs> and I'm turning the wrong direction. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to try to hunt down the the truth of all of these rumors that I am supposedly some sort of black pirate, measly scum, bag, blah, 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 that's stealing from the citizens of Nosrod. So I discovered this originally from the guy in the Sailor's Guild when I was turning in discoveries, and hopefully if I look... Or if I talk to other folks, either in Sailor's Isle or over in Nosrod, I will find out more. So I'm going to go over to Sailor's Island first and check with people. And then I'm going to go to Nosrod and check with people. And if I happen to see or find anything that's relevant, I will... Well, I'll get back with you guys. Okay, apparently... Well, people in more than just Nosrod are a little... Afraid of me because... I don't know. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think that they're going to say anything in terms of just talking. But for whatever reason... And I'm just looking to see if there is anything here. But, um... And apparently there actually is a few things. Interesting. Uh, several things. Lots of things. Okay, well then. Anyway, it's kind of odd though because all I've really gotten... Oh lord. I got another... Are you serious? I could go back and battle Pistol again? Huh. Okay. Well, I guess that sort of shows how long it had been since I got the last black spot that I get another one. But I don't want to really do that yet. I don't want to fight her again. I mean, maybe she's the one spreading those rumors, perhaps. But... I don't know. I think I want to go to Nosrod first and see if I can get more information. And then if not, then I may just battle Piastol again. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but uh, maybe it's just a factor of that timing. But uh, I'm going to go over to Nosrod and see if I can find more information about what's going on and why people are dirtying my name like this. And I will see you guys. Well, if I do find some information, then I will. Then if I don't, then... I suppose we might make this a double pistol episode, of all things. Well, guys, I found the jackass. And I think he's me on some sort of hallucinogenic drug. So, yeah. I think we are going to avenge and get our good name back. Hey, doesn't that ki guy kind of remind you a little of somebody? Or rather, doesn't he remind you a lot of somebody? Those are probably the people that have been going around Nosrod pretending to be us. Vice, we gotta do something! <laughs> uh -huh. Oh my god. Wow. This is a little oh, scary. Yeah. Well, well, if it isn't Vice, I never thought I'd actually get to meet the real you. The pleasure is all mine. Huh, who the heck are you guys? I know. These are the creeps that have been going around pretending to be us. My name is Vise. I used to be a traveling entertainer. My specialty? Impersonations. Lately, I discovered that whenever I impersonate you, people just throw their money on the ground and run away screaming. It's really made my life quite simple. I don't do a thing and I get rich! All thanks to you! It's like taking candy from a baby! <laughs> <laughs> hey there, big boy. I'm Anita, but I'm sure you'll remember me after today. But the big boy? Uh -huh. Forget that red-headed man-girl and come with me. I'll show you the true treasures of this world. Hey! This girl is starting to really get on my nerves! I'm Faina. If we kill you, 
We'll become the real Vice and crew, and nobody will be the wiser. To tell you the truth, you guys are a big thorn in our side. We're gonna have to ask you to die. Which, you see, leaves us with very few alternatives. And I believe that, this, that it is fate that we have met you this day. So, in order for us to live our life of luxury, we're going to need to kill you. It's nothing personal, really. Don't think we're going to just sit here while creeps like you use our names for our, your own greed. We'll settle this aboard my ship. Heh <laughs> I knew you'd say that. The real Vice would never in his right mind think of endangering the lives of the townsfolk. <laughs> and while we're out there, we might as well take your ship. That would complete our image like nothing else. <laughs> well, screw you two. Okay, so it's four on three because we've got a secret weapon called Enrique. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, pretty much same deal as before as far as getting things ready. Uh, Glyph of Might for you. Um... Considering we've got a fake Fiend on board, yeah, I think I'm going to need to go ahead and do Delta Shields, too. Alright, and then Glyph of Speed. And then, let's go ahead and have you doing Justice Shield, because I have a feeling this is going to get hairy pretty fast. Fortunately, Enrique is quick as can be. Yeah, well, there you go. Here comes the magic. Oh, ho, ho. Except they use it to buff themselves, which means I might need to get Fina's debuff in play, too. Here goes. Let's try this. I'm not sure whether to consider it fortunate or unfortunate that we're mostly going first. I don't know what to really think of that. Gotcha. Also, you, you actually kind of hit... Hard. Well, no focusing for her, I guess. Bless us. Oh god, yes, I'm gonna need to get the debuff out real quick, fast, and in a hurry. Okay, well, I know what I'm doing next turn. Y'all ain't gonna keep that crap. No, thank you at all. Alright, so now that we're all buffed up, I'm going after fake Fina. Because, no. Then, let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and keep up the pattern that we've been doing. Delta Shield for you go ahead and get the... There we go. That gets rid of the debuffs. The only... Oh, yeah, we do Justice Shield too. Sweet. Like I said before, this is going to be playing it very conservative in a way, but I think it's worth it in the end to play conservative, to chip them down, and then be able, hopefully, to take them out. Okay, so you guys have... Yep, yeah, bye-bye debuffs. Or bye-bye buffs. So, y'all got a pretty fair amount of SP, or SP, HP, rather. Okay. Ha! Oh, God, you've even got your own... Wow, really? Interesting. You've got your own Cutlass Fury. That hurts. Hi. Okay. I can kind of see where this could end up being problematic. Also, screw you. Okay, so, alrighty then, let's see. We're not going to have enough SP to really keep this all up, I don't think. Fortunately, well, actually we just need 6 SP for this turn, so let's see. Okay, Fake Fiend is yellow, so I need to... Actually, I've had the right color on with silver. Okay, let's keep that up then. I don't know, though, that we're going to have enough... Um, I don't know that we're going to have enough SP to really be able to do a whole lot in terms of if I keep this conservative strategy up, if we're going to be able to do much more than that. Let's see. Okay, that turns on regen. Alright, let's see. Sacrilin, there we go. That's what I'm more looking for. Alright, good. Then that will obviously permit... Just a shield, just in case. I'm thinking I might end up actually. Oh God, what is this? I have no idea what the crap that did. Or was that the uh, counter? 
Oh, that's a Vice's counter strategy, except not countering. Not him. Yeah, anyway. Also, screw you. Okay, so... I figured let's just keep going with this. Um, I'm thinking, though, I mean, y'all have mentioned in the past that there are a couple of problematic bounties that might end up requiring... Also, maybe add a little bit of your attack to it right now. Y'all mentioned that there are a couple of bounties that might end up needing me to use Aura of Valor, and I'm thinking this might end up being one of them. Just because... Well, I guess, if nothing else, to speed things up. Because we've got something that they don't. We've got... Well, we've got the ship attacks. And apparently, you've got that too. Alright, well, good thing I wasn't planning on casting any magic at you. So they really have, in a lot of ways, imitated us to the nth degree, really. Okay, and you guys actually are pretty powerful. No! No, Moons, don't bless them. Also, haha, -ha, you screwed yourselves. <laughs> Okay, so, let's see. Yeah, okay, that's what it is. It's just Counter-Strike, except his name. Okay, hmm. I'm thinking I may end up just needing to see about... Actually, I don't know. I could just go ahead and use Magic Attacks with her, since I don't really feel the need to heal right now. Let's see, web, we can use webless on, let's see, would that be, would that be bad, actually no, that'd be good, let's try that, and then buddy old pal, go ahead and do the justice shield please, but yeah, I'm thinking of nothing else, the aura of valor might end up being necessary just to keep from drawing this out so much, I don't know, I mean ultimately we'll see, but, okay, so that's got fake Fina right around half, Okay, that hurt a little bit more, but not too much. It's still going to be at least two or three turns before Fake Fina is down. Screw you. And I find it funny, I can't skip his attacks. Which is an interesting little detail, I think. Okay, and Fina, you're definitely healing this turn, please. Otherwise, we're screwed. Alright, so... Keep it up, I guess. And... Yeah, pretty much just keep it up. You, madam, need to heal everybody, please. So, sac room. And go ahead and mitigate our defense. Or, up our defense. Mitigate any attacks against us. And I think we should be alright. The fact that both of us did the speed up that same turn essentially means that those speed ups negated each other out. So we still basically run faster than they do in most everything. Okay, yeah, I mean, this is... Uh-oh, who are you hitting this time? I think you're hitting... I know you're hitting Enrique. Interesting. Huh. Oh. Okay, well, I'm healing next turn with Vina as well. That pretty much sets it in place. Nope. Okay, so... Alright. Yeah, I think we got another couple of turns before she's down. And let's go ahead and have you heal again. And, yep. I know, for folks watching, they're probably going, Oh my god, why aren't you going faster? Or why aren't you just going ahead and using Aura of Valor to speed this up? I'll be honest, a large part of the reason why I'm not using it is because I want to see if I can win this battle without it. It's mostly I'm challenging myself pretty much. And I think unless Fake Vice suddenly whips out something super powerful, I think I should honestly be fine. Because, yeah, these guys are challenging. But if we use all of the resources at our disposal, it's not that challenging. It's not so much so that I feel like this battle is unwinnable or something like that. So I'm actually okay with what I'm doing right now. 
even though I have a feeling other folks might be going, oh my god, this is taking forever. So, I don't know. Let's see, uh, right. Of course, that being said, if, I guess if I really wanted to challenge myself, I just wouldn't use Justice Shield, wouldn't use Delta Shield, and just sort of let my flag fly, but, yeah. There's challenge and then there's stupidity. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I think next turn, Fake Fiend is gone. Gotcha. Nice dodge! Good job, Fina! Wowee! Also, you're gonna speed them up again, okay. Not sure why you felt the need to do that, because you're... Oh, that's right, I dismissed your buffs, never mind. That would be why. Uh-oh. Okay, well, that gets you another turn or two. Hmm. Let's see. How do I want to weigh my options now? Because if I do a Cutlass... Not Cutlass Fear. If I do a Pirate's Wrath now, she goes down in one turn. But that then also opens us up to potentially getting thwacked by old Fake Vice over there. So, let's see how our, her AI behaves the next couple of turns. Okay, uh... I think I do want to use a little bit of my SP to get rid of those Lunar Winds, too. Or to get rid of the, that speed with Lunar Winds, that's what I meant. Good grief. Hey. hey, that's fine by me. How did that happen? Yeah. To heck with that! Oh, wow, and that actually almost killed her, too. Oh, interesting. Okay, so bye-bye speed up. Let's see what you do. Okay, that's not going to do anything. So with the fact that we've got speed back, Fake Fina's gone. So bye-bye, Fake Fina. All right, let's see. I guess in that case, uh, how are we looking in terms of healing here? Let's see. How are we looking healing-wise? Do we really need it? I don't think we really need it, so let's actually, let me go ahead and use a Glyph of Might on, on uh, Aika, just to see if, I don't know if this is going to be overly useful, but I think once we take out Fake Fina, then I'm not going to need to worry too much about having to do magic protection every turn. And in that case, that's going to open up Ika as more of an attacker. So that's my strategy on that anyway. I'm going to go ahead and keep Justice Shield up. And that's why I'm not buffing... That's why I'm not buffing Enrique's attack. Because I think I'm going to keep using that throughout. But this is likely the last Let's turn that I'm going to use Justice Shield. And that missed. Interesting. Okay. So she's got that debuff on her like that. Bye, Fake Fina. Then she cannot be buffed. Okay, okay so I got to remove the Fake Buff or the Debuff first. Speaking of Debuff, hi. Gotcha. Okay, so Rike definitely needs to be. This is interesting. Your weapons give status effects. This, this, this is peculiar. Okay. Anyway, so let's go after Fake Ika <laughs> next. Okay, and if you're red, then I need to switch to purple. Definitely ice you over here. All right, so go ahead. Then, um, well, since we don't need to worry about magic right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and cure you myself. Then you, madam, need to go ahead and do a sac rest or sac. Well, yeah, let's do sac rum crystal. Yeah, might as well. Then uh, Enrique, we're, you get to stick with Justice Shield, please. We need that in place here because that would turn a. I dare you. Yeah, screw you. I'm not attacking you anyway. Let's try this. But that would turn a manageable battle into, well, basically just a flat-out disaster, really. And I don't want to even remotely risk that. Okay, so you're pretty hefty. Okay. So I'm thinking we may end up... Oh, this is no good. Good thing she guarded, though. Aha. Let's try this. Okay, good. So that get that will get rid of her debuff. And obviously she's not going to be as attacky as I would like her to be. But she still will be able to attack pretty well. Okay, next turn I think we've got another... I think we've got Pirate's Wrath in the bag here. Because now, let's 
switch you to purple. You go after... So let's make sure you go after Anita. Yeah, okay. Go after Anita. Then Fina. Let's go ahead and have you buff up Aika in anticipation of this. And then Enrique, the usual. Thank you, sir. But next turn, I think we should be able to do Pirate's Wrath. I would hope, anyway. And then hopefully that will take Anita well on her way to... Uh, well on her way to obsolescence, I suppose. Hey. Hey. Too bad you can't do too much to me. And vice versa, I guess. Now Cutlass Wrath on likely Ika. Yeah. I kind of figured that's the direction he was pointing. Rawr! All right, well, Fiend is on healing detail next turn, then. Okay, so... Let's see... Oh... Actually, one more turn. I thought I was going to have enough SP to pull it off this turn. Turns out I'm not, so... Meh. Oh, well. All right. Let's see... Where are you, Sacrilin? It kind of hurts that I'm using all these Sacrilin crystals, but ultimately... Obviously, in the long run, it's worth it because it means I don't have to Maybe risk just... dying. And dying, obviously, is a bad thing. So, yeah, let's yeah. not. Oh, Vice, why? Let's try this. Eh, that's unfortunate. Alright, so you're going to do... Okay, well, at least one of us hit. You're going to do Cutlass Wrath, I'm betting. Because you like to... Oh, never mind. You're just going to do... Ha 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 ha! Screw you. All right. Now we get to unleash the beast. Yeah, eat it, chick. All right. And then you're attacking her, too. Uh, you know what? Let's just pile it on. <laughs> and then Enrique, obviously, the norm, please. No, well, it didn't do much, but it's better than nothing, that's for sure. <laughs> Bye! Now we're just down to one stupid fake air pirate. Alright, fair enough. So, Fina's turn... It's, uh, Fina is... Fina's healing next turn, and then everybody else, we're just gonna start dogpiling this jerk. Okay, so, let's see. You are... Blue, I guess? Yeah, you're blue. Okay, so, let's see. You know what? Green. We had not used green in a bit, so let's just go ahead and green it up here. Alright. Yep, green for you. Healing for you. And I think I probably just needed to go ahead and do a sack room. And then, just a shield for you. And yeah, let's, uh, let's see about taking this jerk down. Yeah! Yeah, you don't even have a manly pain sound. Come on. How dare you pretend to be us. I do have to say, though, I'm really glad that they don't actually have an Enrique with them. Because, oh man, would that be a trouble. Oh boy. Aw, oh, again? Oh well, no focusing for her. Alright, so yeah, let's keep up the pressure. Just keep on keeping on, pretty much. And actually, you can attack for the, at least this turn, anyway. And then, yep, Enrique, please keep my shield in place. Actually, probably what I really should do... Oh, God! Oh, this could be bad. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not so bad, okay. So it's just pretty much that he's going to counterattack, defend and counterattack everything. Gotcha. Which, now that I think about it, is exactly what Counter-Strike does anyway. Yeah. It's just... All gotcha. three of them were set to attack, and I'm like, oh crap. So, okay. Actually, really what I should be doing is... Just going ahead and doing regular attacks with most of the crew. Let's see, actually, you know what? You can't focus, that's right. So you know what? You're on healing detail! You can diversify a little bit. I mean, that's the key to having any good team, is diversification. And then, yep. I dare ya! I double dog dare ya! Yeah, his voice is easy to make fun yeah. of, I think. Gotcha. 
Although I gotta wonder, and I don't know if you guys will be able to answer this question or not, or if it's an answer that's more patently obvious than anything. I'm assuming that real Vice and fake Vice are done by the same voice actor. At least it sounds that way, because it sounds like they got a lot of the same verbal cues and tendencies. I'm meaning the two separate voices, I should say. I'm, what I'm guessing is that fake Vice is real Vice, just maybe an octave higher, or something of that ilk, maybe half an octave higher. That's the way it sounds to me, anyway. Uh, you know what? Why not? <laughs> and then, Justice Shield, please. Probably within a couple of turns, we should be able to do another cut, another uh, Pirate's Wrath. Oh, to heck with that. And then we'll obviously take it from there. So you're probably going to do Cutlass Strike, or Cutlass Wrath, or whatever you want to call yours, against one of, obviously one of us. Yep. And against Ika, I think. Yep. Man, Ika. I mean, I know Vice in the plot has made no illusions as to whether he prefers Ika or Fina as far as, like, waifu material. But apparently the choice is blatantly clear with this one. Oh, my goodness. Okay, uh, Madam, it's, it's healing time, me thinks. And probably just a... Let's see... Yeah, just a sac rest crystal, I would guess. Yeah, that should do, I think. I okay. So effectively, if he's gonna do the counterattack, then he does it first. And I'm guessing that would be the case for Vice's counterattack, which I've never actually yeah. used, so whoopsie. But I'm guessing if he is going to do a counter, then we know about it pretty much right on the outset. If he doesn't do it within the first, basically, couple of character movements, then he's not going to do it, so... Okay, you know what, let's fine. Let's, um... Uh, go ahead and attack, because even if he does decide to do the, uh... Cutlass Wrath, it's not going to take anybody down. And, of course, he does revenge. Apparently, he's all about the revenge now. Which means we're about to take a little bit of a hit, but I'm not very worried about that, honestly. The worst that he's been able to do is Cutlass Wrath. And when Justice Shield is up, that only does about 1,500 damage. Now, of course, if Justice Shield wasn't up, obviously, whole different story. But, that definitely does help. Okay, I don't have enough SP just yet. We're working on it. And you're healing, I think. I think Sacrum. Good time for Sacrum. Then that takes us down to 15. So I think next turn, I could potentially do... I could potentially do Pirate's Wrath, and I may very well do that. I don't know. Depends. Kind of depends on how I feel about my party's state, I suppose. Essentially, do I want to risk a, a full-on Pirate's Wrath that could very well one-shot one of my characters? Or do I want to just be a little more conservative about it? Honestly, in terms of how this is draining his HP, I'm thinking a Pirate's Wrath is likely going to take him down. Okay, oh, we don't quite have... Darn it! Well, almost. Anyway, one more turn, though, and I think we should be good. So, yeah, let's uh, go ahead. It's slow, it's conservative, it's probably achingly slow. But I feel it was probably the best way to fight this battle without just going all out and using an Aura of Valor. Just because it keeps us alive, it kept us to where I wasn't ever particularly uncomfortable with the way the battle was progressing, and we were able to effectively make our way to victory. And I know technically that I am talking about us winning the battle a little early, but I think Pirate's Wrath is going to easily take care of that. Just in case, though, let's go ahead and pile on the hurt. We've got enough HP to where we can just lay it on him. And that did it. Good. <laughs> that was easy. Well, I don't know about that, but it's definitely worth it. And let's see, we got, oh, another couple levels up. Hey, this has been a good day for leveling up. And we get a Tuna Cutlass, a Swirl Meringue, 
and a focus robe. Huh, let's check those out before we finish. Hey! Okay, 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 we give up. Man, you guys really are the real deal. I never imagined you were so strong. No, I'm being serious. Just please, let us live. We promise not to do anything bad anymore. We're really just big fans of yours. You wouldn't kill your fans, right? Uh-huh. Come on, big boy. Just let us go, please. This is pathetic. I told you we never should have gotten involved in this kind of stuff in the first place. If you guys promise not to use our names to do evil deeds anymore, we'll let you live. So, what do you guys plan to do from here on? Well, we won't be making trouble for ourselves, that's for sure. And, well, we are former entertainers. I figure we can just run a Vice and Crew look-alike show. We could probably make a decent living off that. <laughs> I don't know whether you guys really got it together or you're just a bunch of flakes. If you're ever in the neighborhood, please stop by. We'd love to have you as guest stars on our show. <laughs> well, okay then. Uh, a couple things I want to check. One, did I get my reputation back? Yeah, I got my reputation back. <laughs> Secondly, equipment. All right, so we just got the tuna cutlass, which... Why would you ever use that? I mean, seriously, why? It makes no sense. Your hit goes to zero. I mean, granted, it's more powerful, but what's the use of going Roar! if you can't hit anything? Okay, so no dice on that one. I think another one was a, I think a piece of equipment for Ika. Let's say the Swirl Meringue, which drops her attack a little bit, but ups her hit a lot. Holy crap. And will always confuse any enemy not immune to. Absolutely, I'm using this. Yes, please. All right, next up. Uh, and her. Wait, why did her attack become two? One. Oh, that's the. Okay, sorry. I saw 100 and 200. I'm going. Wait a minute. Didn't it just? But I was misreading it. My bad. Okay, so finally, Fina, and the focus robe that we just got. Let's see. Drops her defense a lot. Drops her dodge a lot. Okay, allows the wearer to mentally channel energy, increasing her will. That is a little tempting. I was going to say very tempting, but the huge drop in defense and the huge drop in magic is kind of meh. But that's actually rather tempting. I'm not really sure as to whether I actually would use that. But I don't know. It's certainly worth thinking about at least. So, okay, well, <laughs> that was certainly something. All right, so next time on Skies of Arcadia Legends, again, I'm kind of not sure what I'm going to do because it's probably about time to go ahead and just sort of head on with the plot. But at the same time, honestly, I'm also kind of tempted to do exploring because now that we have the ability to go way up and way down, I am tempted to just run around and find stuff. So I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. And, and well, I guess we'll all find out together. So thank you guys for joining me and I'll see y'all later.